Hello, I'm Acoustic Guitar Senior Editor Thea Gurken, and I'm here with Schertler's new Jam 100 amp. Founded by Swiss bassist and sound engineer Stefan Schertler more than 30 years ago, Schertler has made a name for itself with its acoustic instrument pickups, and for the last few years the company has also offered amps designed to yield the ultimate in performance from amplified acoustic instruments. Recently, Schertler has expanded its offerings with the Jam family of amps, which encompasses three amps rated at 100, 150, and 400 watts, all of which feature extensive input options. The Jam 100 that I have here is the smallest of the Jam lineup. It has a list price of $999 and sells for around $799. As you can see, it has an attractive hardwood cabinet, a very durable metal grill, uh, and fairly compact dimensions, so it would be easy to carry around. The amp offers 100 watts of power, which is bi-amped, into a 6-inch speaker and a uh, compression uh, tweeter. There are four input channels up in the top here, uh, which are laid out like a mixing board. The first two channels have XLR and quarter-inch input, so you could use, a, use it for a microphone or uh, an instrument input. Uh, the next channel has uh, two quarter-inch inputs, which are high impedance and low impedance. And then there's a fourth channel uh, that is designed as an auxiliary channel with XLR inputs uh, for an iPod or a CD player or those kinds of signals. Three of the channels include three-band EQ, and the auxiliary channel has two bands of EQ. The amp is built in digital reverb, but no other effects. And the back of the amp offers a master DI output. So let me play through the amp a bit more and kind of demonstrate the EQ and the reverb, etc. Uh, the guitar I'm using here is a Martin OM with an LR Bags dual source uh, electronics package that has an under saddle pickup and an internal microphone. So let's let's start with the EQ here. Right now everything is set flat. I'm in channel one and the quarter inch input. If I try the high control on the EQ. tell it's quite effective would be a great way to uh, give more presence to a sound or if, if you have kind of a, a dull sounding guitar pickup it would really add some sparkle. Um, the mids as well have a, a wide range um, and um, a lot of times uh, guitar pickups can benefit from having the mids cut just ever so slightly and, and uh, this seems to be just in the right frequency range. The bass control adds a lot of bottom end. Again, if your pickup signal is lacking bottom end or the room you're playing, it needs a little bit of a bottom end. There it is. And finally, the reverb. Um, I had a little bit of it on when I was playing it earlier. I'm going to turn it off right now and uh, dial in a little bit more of it. And there's a master reverb control. Um, at the, in the master section, the effects return. So if I turn it all the way up, we have a lot of reverb there. It's digital. Uh, there isn't a, uh, a fine control on the reverb, so you can't adjust how long or short or how much the decay is. But it's a really nice uh, basic preset uh, that would work for most acoustic guitar applications. And just having the control of how much of it you can dial in uh, is often enough uh, as it is. Um, the amp also offers phantom power on its XLR input, so you can use it uh, with many condenser mics. Um, and as I mentioned before, it has the DI out, uh, which is up here. So that's the Schertler Jam 100. It's a great little amp that offers a lot of flexibility, power, and tone in a small, portable package. You can read our review in the print or digital editions of Acoustic Guitar or online at acousticguitar.com. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Taya Gurken.